The Rugby World Cup is just three weeks away and preparation levels are hitting the maximum. But something we're yet to see in these build-up matches is a cross-hemisphere battle. That changes today as the Springboks are in town to take on Wales. What's going on everyone and welcome back along to your home of rugby as we continue on the battle and the build-up towards the Rugby World Cup. Today the Welsh are at home and they are looking to put in a performance that hopefully will better the last couple of weeks of their build-up against England. They've looked nothing short of rather average. They've scored points and on paper they look like they're doing okay but against a very lesser men England side they struggle to put those points on the board. Their team has undergone a drastic change for this weekend's matchup and against the Springbok side that has had a couple of weeks rest now and look fit and they look full strength. A number of areas they're going to dominate this game is in the pack and when you look through these names that are going head to head there's no surprise as to why the Springboks should start this one out as favourites. Powerful through the front row and the second row, kits off Marks and Maholba going up against on the other side Damachowski, D and Aserati is sure to make even the most hardcore Welsh fan shudder in their sleep. The back row battle will be good. There's a bit of experience here for the Welsh of Lydia and Wainwright. They kept on either side by Captain Jack Morgan going up against the return of Sia Khaleesi and his partnership with Peter Steph Toy and Jasper Visa at number eight. It's a welcome back to Jaden Hendrickson who we haven't seen for a little while. And of course, there was going to be a battle between Bigger and Livog, but unfortunately, injury or lack of fitness has set that one aside for another day. There's explosiveness in the back line for both sides, but it's the veteran Alex Cuthbert who's still running around the paddock these days who will be one to watch out for as he's still up to the standard or the Springboks' excitement machines of Colby and Moody run rings around the veteran. We will find out as this one does wear on, and here is the benches. Speaking of wearing on, we expect to see plenty of these guys throughout the 80 minutes, and we expect to see how they use Willemse in this match for the Springboks. He is a man that certainly can impact the game, depending on his position. For the Welsh, though, the guys who featured last weekend are all about it, and look out for what Basham can do. Hopefully, he can uh, not get smoked in the face this week. Would be good for his confidence. Well, the excitement levels inside the stadium are at a very high level. You can see a packed house of Welsh fans predominantly throughout the stands. A bit of green and plenty of red as we get things underway. Marnie Libok kicks off the short one down to the grass for Valia D. And it is Release. the Welsh, of course, in the red tonight who will be sitting about the opening stanza of this matchup. Hardy goes for a little bit of a run. For it's a big turnover, Malcolm Marks, welcome to the game. And look at this offloading here from the Springboks. Kits off, one more to the left hand side, running in tandem. There's plenty of them here. Colby to the left wing. And he's taken down in some good solid defense from Kai Evans. They keep it the short side and trying to get the touch there was a disappointing effort there from John Klein. Uh, Stephen Kitschoff getting the camera time, but it was a big second roller who was aimless in this directional play. Now the Welsh, under very early pressure, need to sort something out. But that's not the way to do it. Big turnover at the back there from... That looked like Steinman, who was actually jumping high for that one. Hendrickson, he'll pick it up. A little grubber in behind, and it's easily claimed. Kai Evans, once again, doing the hard work. Tidying up what his frontline defenders couldn't do. Here's Costello. Responsibility of that number 10 jumper. That slaps that one away, and... Running it back will be a very inspired looking Jesse Creel. Beats the first line, but second one takes him down. Hendrickson, a little snipe off the side there from the scrum half. It's another meter or two. Look out for the big boys now. Steinman actually passes the ball. Brilliant stuff from him. It goes out to Moody, who's tripped on his way. It's a face on the turf for his efforts. Here we go, Hendrickson. Big gap here for the scrum half. And he finds the ball. He cannot. He spills the ball in the tackle. And Wales live to fight another day at 0-0. Release. Can they exit their 22 though? That's the real question. Here's Carter. Release. Going sideways predominantly there. Pick and go. Hardy. No way through there. Very good tackle from Klein. Over the top he goes. And the Springboks turn it over. But we'll go back for the scrum. Zane Hendricks though with the error. Crouch. Golden opportunity. Find. Was probably more apt to put in his little grubber kick that time. Set. But alas. <laughs> I'll go without it. 
Zaveri got Springbok scrum. It's a turnover as well. Even better for them. Hans Hendrickson puts up a high crossfield bomb. The enemy. Oh, he couldn't quite get there in time. It's well taken from Mason Grady. In the grasp of Damien Delende, who tried to pluck at the two midfielders going toe to toe. It's Grady smokes this right down the center of the park, and Pili LaRue will do much the same. Across field, finding a good piece of panic there. And a big chase coming in from Moody. That was rapid. Almost caught them by surprise. Back to Costello, who drills this again down the middle of the park. Eluding Billy LaRue and Colby. And now LaRue goes straight down the center, right next to the sticks there. It's picked up from Evans, who finally ends this treacherous play of drive back and puts it into touch. Not getting the most amount of meters there, which will be disappointing for him, but the Springboks will be happy to have won that little battle. 35 outs. Oh no, that's a shocking throw. Malcolm Marks, not one to normally. Not hit his mark, it's in his name. That's why he normally gets it so right. For the Welsh now, the Bunners on his side, looks to attack, and they do so brilliantly as well. Mason Grady still looking at the inside, but his handling lets him down as he looks for Rio Dyer on the left. Such a disappointing end to a promising play from the Welsh. Here was Grady, took it in fair to dead end. He Crouch. said, not this time. Bind. A big rib ticker of a hit there. Set. And surprisingly, <laughs> shockingly, even this game still stands at 0 0. He puts that inside the Welsh half by just a meter or two. Libok. Oh no, it's just what they didn't want, South Africa. Marnie Libok goes down with an injury. And on will come. Replacement of Willemse. Oh, Damien Willemse could be the man now to lead that number 10 Crouch. jersey for the Springboks of the Rugby Bind. World Cup. Sit. How bad will that injury be to Livok? His first real carry of the night. How will this change the game plan now? Hendrickson and Willemse. Around the corner, coming from the opposite side of the field there. Good run. From Cannon Moody, didn't even see him really coming off that line as he's left a number of players lurking as Wales hit back. Delash hit key, gets a better flare away, and a try will be scored eventually from Costello. Oh, the counter attack from Wales. Brutally hitting the spring box below the belt. Well, it was almost ominous in the way it came about. The turnover off the Kennamuni run. And look at the work there from Domaszkowski, who just trundled along before finding it as the defense converged on him to Sam Costello. And the only try is here, much unexpectedly, against the run of play. It is Wales who lead five points to nil, and that score will remain. Unsuccessful kick there from Costello. 5 0 the scoreline, though. And it's all Wales on the scoreboard, but it's all South Africa on the field, that is for sure. Damien Willemson gets us back underway. Deep kick here, down to the 22, where Wales have been parked pretty much all the game long. Costello restarts the kicking tool as Colby runs it down. And regathers the ball. A good chase and a good tackle there from Williams. And now the Springboks have got the task of running this out from their 22. Are they going to? No, not a chance. Much more structured in their play. It's Willemson who kicks it down to Evans. Evans will run it back though. Wild pass back to midfield. And straight to contact goes Johnny Williams. He's lost the ball though. It's a big turnover here somewhere. The ball is still buried. I'm not sure who has actually got control of this. It's come back for Wales. Hardy. Turns it back inside. Dostkowski has a run again. Now they swing it to the left-hand side. Costello wants to knock the ball on. And Danny Delendi dives on the loose ball. Hendrickson, last chance, advantage in tow. Opportunity to get some points on the board before the break, but it looks like this may be shut down by Wales who dive all over the ball with a breakdown. We will go 
no bet for the knock-on from Costello, but being at half-time, that will end the first 40 minutes of action. Plenty to talk about from that one, but not much on the scoreboard, that is for sure. South Africa dominating the fixture, but not putting any finishing touches on the opportunities. They go into the break trailing. I know, it's odd to say, trailing Wales, 5-0. Good first 40 from the Welsh in the defensive end, but uh, somehow this man here is the only one to grab points on the board. And he will be the one to resume the second half. Here is Sam Costello. Pops this one up high. Take it nicely. Boy, it's a toy! What a monstrous run there! Up to halfway already. Hendrickson bumps off a couple of defenders. Springboks pile onto the breakdown. This is where they're going to be dangerous now. Moa Holber. Front row partner kicks off waiting and ready. Pretty much on the halfway line now. Release. Hendrickson picks up. Oh, and he's done it again on Hardy. Not the first time tonight he's baffled him out of the way, but a big turn over the breakdown. Now Wales will take their left inside. We're in fire. Trying to bust through Billy Lou. But he can't get away. He's had limited chances as Rio Dyer, but this one was golden. Now Marks, his last throw was off the mark. This time, he hits the money. In the middle, you can't miss Snyman. He's a monster of a man as the Springboks look for that territory gain. A big kick down, and Evans has to work hard to bring it back the other way for returning it down. Oh, that is a dicey kick for LaRue. He had to wait for it as well. And he's turned it back and he's put it in and out on the fall was the other 22. It doesn't look like that face says I'm in the 22. That's a big win. Big win for the Welsh. Now can they convert? Elliot D gets it nicely into the middle of the line out. Costello in the backs of Williams turns it back around and it's the captain Jack Morgan. Pick and go from big number eight, Wainwright, turns it back. Dorsowski again with another carry. Waiting for it is Kieran Hardy. Oh, that's not his greatest work there, but running in from deep is Hooker Elliott D. Wales just 10 out now from the Springboks line. Release. Slow pressure building here on the Springboks. Here's Hardy, if he can find a pass, there was numbers. Well, there's a three on two overlap to the left for the Welsh. Just couldn't get the offload away. Here's D once more, and he's trying to go through that gap. He's offloading the tackle to his front row partner. And Wales slowly make the way back with his Hardy. Oh, that's a good run from Hardy, too. He's opened it up down the left hand side and can't get away as Dyer. Goodness me, they are working hard down that left edge. That's what Hardy gives it off to Dokowski, and the two props combine for a good gain of 10 metres. Hardy waits, the Springboks defence moves, Hardy, ball flows nicely, Rollins has another go. Winning at the back now is Wainwright, he takes on the defensive climb. Wow, Wales are really knocking on the door here, this could be a big one and it's an offload to Dyer, he's just a couple of minutes short. Waits for Hardy, Hardy picks it up, goes alone, a couple of metres, South Africa may turn this over though. They have, it's a big turnover. Advantage. Oh, it's knocked on from Hendrickson. And Wales will get it back in another goal chance. 5-0, 15 to play. What can they finish with here? Offloading game back towards the contact. Around the corner from Wainwright to Morgan. Release. Just here now from the Springboks line. This is a real arm wrestle of fixture. 5-0 the score. Wales looking to put it away. In the corner, Williams gives it out to Costello. And the referee surprisingly calls this back. Crouch, bind. Wales get another shot at it. Set. Fed from Hardy. Oh, the Springbok pack though is too powerful. They won't get that shot they want. Billy LaRue up on the ball and knocks it on. Have you seen a period of play like this before in your life? 5-0, the score reads. Left side. Big chance for loose head prob. Dodge House goes down in a thunderous heat. Hardy continues on the short side play. Now opening it up and another knock on. Costello this time. 
will peg down for another scrum. Crouch. Well, South Find. Africa needs to hold on to the ball here. They're becoming set. Very wasteful, Mitch Archers. The Welsh scrum finally gets a good hit. Hardy has it. The Welsh crowd erupts. They know their team is in the chance. Doubling round from the left wing. And a golden opportunity from Rio Dyer. He's got the try for Wales. And that defence was diabolical from South Africa. Well, it wasn't anything fancy. But what's the work here from Rio Dyer? He's come around off his left wing to take it through the midfield and no one picked him up at all. Wales grabbed their second and this is a complete surprise. Sam Costello, he scored the only points in the first half and the five minutes to play, he's gonna grab himself too. He's got seven for the night. And it's a 12 point to nil lead. Wales over South Africa. This really puts a bit of a mix in the blender now. Damien Williams are on the field, of course. Injury to Marnie Lubbock. And a good take there from Jack Morgan. This could be a time for the Springboks. No, well maintained. Hardy goes. Tight goes short. It's a good run there from Rollins to get it off to Cuthbert. He puts it on the left, trusty left boot. And this one wobbles its way right towards the uprights. And nothing Moody can do there. Trimmed into the end goal. And set down for a 22 dropout. The pressure here from Wales is extraordinary. Cuthbert knocks it on. That'll be all she runs. Wales 12, South Africa nil, and the full-time whistle is about to blow. We'll see a resumption of play from the 22. Don't know what they're quite expecting, a big tackle from Colby. And that will be full-time. Wales, in front of their home fans, have rejected the proposed prediction of their Rugby World Cup. They were expected to struggle. They were expected to not be enough. But two tries to nothing. Their defensive effort has ended the Springboks when it really could have been a big matchup. Costello and Dio with the tries. And one out of two from the team from Costello as well. 12 points to nil. And they say warm up games mean nothing. South Africa dominated the first half, they just couldn't get over the line. And somehow Wales against the run of play open the scoring. That put a massive dent in the Springboks confidence and game plan. Then they lost Marnie Lubov and it was all downhill from there. You can tell 53 tackles to 25. Not the greatest entertaining matchup, but a big win for Wales as they take out the South Africans who have been in pretty good form this season. Beating Argentina twice recently. Now this will really upset their plans as they look towards the Rugby World Cup. And that is it from me today though team. I hope you enjoyed this fixture. I'm sure the Northern Hemisphere Welsh fans certainly would have enjoyed this one. South Africa, South Africa though have work to do to get themselves back in the game next weekend. They're back in action of course. And we'll be seeing from them as well as this weekend we have a match between England and Ireland. So I hope to see you all there for that one. Until then, no thanks for watching, as always, and thank you.